Hi guys and welcome to your Twin Flame Tarot Love Messages here. These messages are going to be general because it is a general reading, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So we'll go ahead and give the cards a shuffle here and see what messages are coming in regarding your Twin Flame connection. Okay, straight away I'm getting the runner. Hmm, someone's prone to running here with the Knight of Swords energy and the Three of Wands here. Okay, and the last few cards, you've got the Eight of Swords here and the World card. Okay, um... Okay, a lot of air energy here, a lot of air energy, which of course governs the mental energy here, right? Okay, some of you I feel like are very much in this um, twin flame runner chaser stage of this connection, okay? The reason why you're here is because this these emotions that you feel, these feelings, these emotions that you feel for one another, they're so intense that someone here or the both of you don't know how to deal with it, they don't know how to process it, you've not been here before, you've not felt this before, and as a result the two of you can't sort of stay together for long periods of time, okay? So this is why someone runs, the other one chases, and then the other one comes back, and then, you know, um, you go back to this running and chasing here. Um, twin flames connect at even a distance so I do get that there is some sort of distance between the two of you now it feels like more of a geographical distance but because you're twin flame here I feel like you may even have like twin flames have this telepathy where the two of you can sort of pick up one another's thoughts okay and because you have all of this air energy I can see that your twin flame is thinking about you and you you're thinking about them so you're both sort of um, are picking up on each other's frequencies you're picking up on each other's energy here as well um and notice how the two of you often like you often call or text at the same time or whenever you think of your twin flame here often the time oftentimes you'll get a respond like you'll get a response from them a call or a text some communication here um yeah and notice how you always end up finishing each other's sentences here as well so right now what's happening here all of these swords uh, their weapons and right now the two of you are going through you're going through some difficult times you're going through some uncomfortable times your DM is you know your DM or your DF here is you know you're, you're running um, or you're the one that's running or you're the one that's doing the chasing whichever end you're on I feel like what's happening now is your souls are essentially your souls are growing in your and they're trying to expand them you know themselves to their highest potential okay um, and there's so many changes that this connection here is prone to or there's so many frequent changes that I feel like that's why the two of you or that's why they end up running from this connection it's because it's not because they don't feel feelings for you quite the contrary they do feel feelings for you but they feel them so intensely and they're just and they're so magnified and they're so amplified and they just don't know how to respond to those emotions this is why they pull away this is why they run from you guys so what happens with your twin flame when they do the running? They feel overwhelmed, okay? They feel overwhelmed. They can't handle the intensity of these emotions. They can't handle what they're going through. Um, and what happens with you? It leaves you feeling devastated, rejected, bewildered, confused here. Because you know they love you or you know that they feel what you feel. Um, you just don't know why they run here. Um... Twin flame, your twin flame here has a tendency to, they have a lot of pain that they they haven't, okay, this is where it gets com complex, they have a lot of pain that I feel like they sort of tend to cling on to, um, and I feel like they seem to actively, they really do, they seem to actively pursue situations which bring them pain, okay, which sort of cause them pain here, they have destructive habits, okay, they have destructive habits that they possess, or destructive relationships that they keep running back to okay they know it's destructive but to them 
they kind of glamorize it or it's kind of normalized for them maybe they've you know been brought up in a little in a bit of a destructive or unhealthy environment or they've had you know destructive relationships in the past and that's all they've known and they keep coming back to this pain because on some level yes it's painful it's hurtful but it's also comforting for them okay so i feel like your twin flame he has a lot um that they a lot of pain that needs healing and working through as well um They run. Why do they run here? I hear you ask. They run because they scared. They're scared here. Okay, they're not running from you. Although it's that's exactly what it looks like here. Okay, and if you're the one that's doing the running here, then just reverse that. Okay, um, but I, I feel like why the runner in this twin flame connection runs is because they fear. They fear not that they fear you, um, and they don't run from you, but they. It's like they run from themselves here. A part of themselves feel. They feel their insecurity is really heightened with they with with they're with you. They feel like they're not good enough, or they feel like you may turn around and reject them at any one point. This is why they run. They run because um, they're scared, they're petrified that you might turn around and stop loving them, or they're scared, they're petrified that for once, you know, this may be somewhat of a healthy relationship. There's a lot of so they're running from fear, but they keep running back to destructive habits or destructive relationships or destructive lovers okay um, and they keep running back to those things because like i said on some level it's comforting and it's all they know and it's it's normalized for them here um your twin flame doesn't feel like they're good enough to receive the deepest of these loves like they don't feel like they're good enough they also don't feel like they're ready here as well Twin flame runs from judgment as well, okay? And notice whenever there's emotional confrontation, instead of them dealing with it, they run from it, okay? They're prone to running here. The thing is, if they keep running, they'll never let you get really close to who, you, who they are, okay? So I feel like they have to stop running here. Rejection, rejection, and fear feel and like destructive patterns kind of feel safe for them, which is kind of sad here. They reach essentially, they reach for your hand or they reach for these things like a relationship and a romantic connection and like a soul connection. But once they get a hint of it, they pull away, they retreat because they're scared, they don't feel like they're worthy of it, they, they're scared of rejection, they're scared of you know, success of it as well. But then when they miss you, when they miss, you know, the intensity of these emotions and then that feeling that they feel, the warmth, the depth, that's when they reach back. That's when they come running back instead of running away. So it's a very complex situation. It's a very complex situation. And because swords are uh, weapons here, okay, essentially they cut, right? So um, I feel like what needs to happen now is some destructive patterns need to be cut, some old habits or some destructive connections also need to be cut from your twin flame from your twin flame's life because there are certain people that they don't want the best for them okay and they're just using them taking advantage of them but your twin flame is not aware of it because that's all they've ever known so I see that your twin flame needs to cut certain habits, they need to cut out certain habits, destructive patterns and also certain people in their life who I'm who I'm going to go as far and call them emotional vampires because essentially this they, these energies are draining your your twin flame here um your twin flame needs to refocus themselves here okay so if they've ran from you they're gonna come back to you but i feel like it's important for them right now to refocus here This connection has them really consumed because, you know, they're, they're hot and they're cold. And then it's like... They know that if they let themselves... They know that if they let themselves get too deep here and they get too close with you, then there's no going back. And this is why, you know, you guys want to take one step forward and then two steps back. Because they're aware. Like I said, they're afraid. But a lot of the times... 
not only are they afraid of rejection and fear and things not working out, but they're just as equally afraid of what if things do work out and what if this is the closest they're going to get to true love and a healthy relationship. They're scared of that too because that's not what's familiar to them. So it's very complex. Um, there's a lot of untangling of issues that needs to happen here, guys. All right, and these are your messages. Thank you guys as always for watching and for listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, sharing, or commenting. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Bye, guys.